G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. Today I have a problem that I need to solve. Now, you might have actually noticed it. Well, actually, no, I haven't done a video since I um, found this. Uh, I'm guessing this might be Saturday's video because tomorrow we're going live. Um, but anyway, um, I've got a problem. I've been procrastinating on it for like two days and uh, basically I'm going full cowboy here. And let me explain that to you. Alright guys, so in short, Franken tank doesn't fit. Basically, um, I measured the distance from there to there and if you remember we actually removed one side of this tank to gain 6 millimeters to make it fit. Now if you measure the tank and you measure the width between the racks, um, it's pretty much within 3 millimeters. But one thing I didn't th take into account um, this the floor is actually sloped due to drainage and basically I think this leg here this leg here is actually three pieces deep one two three so that's actually like about 120 millimeters total and I think that's that's slightly twisted in and um, basically all of those things together means that it doesn't fit it's so close like if you look there's like a six mil, five mil gap there. And if you look on this side, it's like five mil that it's not covered by. Now what I'm gonna do, this leg, because that is like 120 millimeters wide, um, there's three layers there. Um, I don't even remember why I ended up three layers. I think I just, I think it was the two and then I added the front one when I started adding so much weight over here. Um, Oh, and I think there, there's so much timber here, guys. This is over-engineered as hell. If you look up there, there's like three layers running across that way. This rack is serious. And it's not, it's not over-constructed. I actually was always planning on putting one extra leg on the front of that, but I never did it. But there's like... There's probably like close to 2,000 litres up the top there, maybe more. Someone do the math in the comments. Four by two and a half by one and a half. Four by two by one and a half. Seven by two by one and a half. Um, my, off the top of my head without actually working it out, I would say 600 to 650, 400 to 450, 450 to 500 total guess there but anyway um you'll see we have a planer in the vicinity that means we're just going to plane the hell out of this leg um i'm going to try and plane it a bit tapered so that way i'm taking as the least amount possible off luckily this tank here is like 70 millimeters up off the ground so i don't have to plane to the bottom of the leg i can't really plane the other side because this tank here goes all the way to the ground and I've got no method of planing to the very bottom because the planer will only plane to like within like 30 millimeters at the bottom. Also the other thing is the bottom of these legs are coated in fiberglass so I don't really want to plane the bottom because that's actually a watertight seal and um, that's what stops my legs from rotting. So anyway, you guys get to see the planer in action. Um, now, I don't know how I'm going to do this because I've got to get this tank out of the way. There's actually a fish tank in the way here. It's going to be a tight fit, guys.
All right guys, so it's all trimmed away. I test fit it and it fits. Um, I kind of didn't film it just because um, turns out the silicon, when I silicon the brackets on the bottom, the silicon didn't stick to the paint. So that bracket there fell off, which is all right. It just means it will sit under it loose. It won't be attached to it, but which doesn't matter. Um, but I don't know what, oh, so there is a little bit of water in here, which does worry me a little bit. Um, I noticed like the back two pieces don't have the plastic under them. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to address that, but that's a huge job to fix that because I've got to empty all the tanks above. So it's not much water in there. If this was really wet, it would, um, it would it would soak all through this so it's not doing too bad but I definitely keep my eyes open on that one and uh, give the leg an old tap with the hand every now and then to make sure that yeah look if I put the sawdust here that way the paint doesn't go on the concrete oh I said that and I just dripped it straight on the concrete I really should put the paint into a tray instead of trying to look what I've got. I've got a Vegemite jar with paint in it and I'm trying to paint out of that. But uh, so I don't want to leave any timber raw in the fish room. Even though this won't really be seen. You guys know the deal. Paint everything. No raw nothing in here. Oh, I'm actually dying of heat exhaustion. You don't really realise how humid and hot the fish room is until you go to start using power tools and stuff in the fish room. Give that a bit of a clean up. Why not, eh? Oh well, that was actually easier than I expected. Um, it went in first shot. Uh, you guys caught a little bit of a video, didn't you? Um, it is rough. It's no. I thought about getting the belt sander out. I've got a belt sander in my car, but it's only for the fish room. She'll be right. You can't. You won't see it because the tank is pretty much hard up against it. There's literally millimetres of clearance. Uh, Alright, I'll wait for that paint to dry and then I'll probably put the tank in. Alright guys, so I forgot, I've got to drill holes in these tanks. Um, we've got our handy dandy airline in the fish tank, dripping water down into this tank. I'm going to use two hands guys because that water is not actually falling on the cutter. Alright guys, I'm not really sure where I left off but I had to um, take a phone call and basically I was, I was still working while I was on the phone. The joys of good headphones is I could carry on. Um, so I think I was on camera when I drilled the hole, hey? Yeah. And then so I've stuck the fly wire on that face. So it will tell you one thing here. So when you're putting... So I put fly wire on these holes so the fry can't get through. If you're ever going to do this and glue fly wire onto it, make sure you decide what way the flow is going to go so that the water is pushing against the fly wire on the side that it's siliconed on. Because I've actually had a couple fall off because the water pushes back against it and it slowly peels off. So there's a hot tip for you if you are going to do that. But because I've put that fly wire siliconed on there that means i can't really water test it today anyway guys i think that one, that's going to wrap that one up there sorry if it wasn't a very descriptive video and i kind of just got on with it um it's just because frank and tank as a project for youtube for me is it's dra it's dragging on a bit too far so i really wanted to just get it get it done um you guys have seen plenty of it so just those last couple of things i did oh uh, i've also I, I hooked the plumbing up in the back so it does have a drain on it 
it doesn't have a feed yet. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to get a feed from. It's going to be a bit of a mission trying to get a hose down to it. But it's pretty much ready for a water test. I've got, I've got a strip of LED light strip for it. The same stuff that's on all of my tanks. I've just got to find it. It's somewhere, somewhere safe. Um, and then I've got to decide what I'm putting in it. The fish that are in the... The fish that are in the tubs that are under there, neither of them I really want to put in these tanks. Um, I might... The... What are they called? Proper blank on what type of fish they are. Oh. Anyway, the fish that are in this 30 litre tank here, um, I'm probably going to leave them in that tank and wall mount that tank. Um, so they're breeding in there happily. It's only 30 litre tank. They don't seem to care that it's small. So um, that tank might get stuck up here. The other option is um, I've got like I think three two and a half foots. I'm thinking about putting them up on marketplace saying swap for standard two foot because two and a half foot is too big for where I want to put it. Um, so if you're in Perth and you've got standard two foots and you want a tank that's two and a half foot, swing me a message. Um, the only thing is they are drilled so they do have holes in them. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's my plan for that. And uh, oh, so the, the plan is that standard two foot Standard two foot, maybe either a standard two foot and move that air pump up there in that gap there, or I put a one and a half foot next to that. I kind of might just move the air pump, guys. I can literally move it from there to that shelf there and the bracket that it's sitting on the shelf will actually bolt up to the same spot but on the rack higher and then that way we can chuck a tank there um, so these tanks are going to be hanging off the wall like literally hanging so I'm going to have to construct some very nice racking very nice um, because we do not want the tanks falling well actually, if the tanks fall, they're only going to land in the pond, so they probably won't smash. They might just hurt my stingrays, that's all. But um, yeah, so you guys know I'm always trying to squeeze an extra tank in this room. And I think those three tanks will be the very last tanks I'll fit in here. Like that. <laughs> if I fit more than those three in here, um, Come back to this video and send me the link if it's in the future. Because there is nowhere, nowhere to squeeze another tank. Um, so we're putting a two foot there. That's got the seven foot above it. So that can't, there's, there's no room there. If I put two foot there, we're not going to be, uh, we're not putting a tank that close to the aircon. The aircon needs to breathe. So that, that leaves here. We could squeeze another two foot up there if we move that pipe, but that, no, nah, it's not an option, guys. Get out of my head. Three more tanks, standard two foots, and then the room's finished. It has to be finished at that point. Like, like look at this. We're squeezing tanks in under here. Franken tank. Like, I literally had to plane the leg of the rack to fit it in. It doesn't get any tighter than that squeezing tanks in, does it? Um, I really, once I get every tank in here, I want to do the math again and work out how many litres are in here. Uh, I believe it's somewhere around 15,000 litres. I can't remember if it's 15,000 litres including the 3,000 litres out there or whether it's 15,000 litres plus the 3,000. Either way, it's a lot of water. Um, and if any, for anybody that doesn't know, this room is only 3.6 meters by 5.8 or something, 5.9. So um, 15,000 liters in a space that small, like you do the math, there's a lot of water in here. Um, 
mainly because like these tanks are two and a half foot front to back not not many people have breeder tanks that are two and a half foot front to back and by not many people i actually don't know anybody else that has two and a half foot tank deep tanks and also like tanks over there they're nine foot by two and a half um there's some big volume tanks in here seven by four by two and then obviously the stingray tanks like 19 foot by three and a half foot by two foot like there's some big tanks in here yeah that's my story got big fish tanks to compensate for other things <laughs> no i'm just joking it's i got plenty down there <laughs> if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out sorry for the not so pg comments